Hello again, guys. We're back on the Dodge truck. Got uh, my parts and pieces in to uh, get them replaced. Here's a little bit better picture of the uh, grill damage. Of course, it's smoke. Crushed it up pretty good. And here's the new one. As well as the uh, bug deflector that goes over it on the hood and the two pieces that go over the headlights. It didn't damage his on either side, but I'm going to go ahead and replace all three pieces so that they match. I'd also like to do a mail call. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to it. I actually had to find the stickers. I knew I had them. I just had to find them. This one's from uh, Iceman 22ST. Super sticker. I love the way the uh, profile of the car on the front. That's awesome. I appreciate that a lot. Good sticker. And here's one from uh, Ron, Ron's Garage. That, that kind of takes me back to the 70s when uh, a lot of the calendars and stickers and stuff uh, were real similar to this. That's that's really a cool design as well. And of course, uh, Rob Gwynn. Uh, this one right here is, is really cool. No, you are correct. We will never forget. We'll never, ever forget. Uh, park and sand detailing. <laughs> That's cool. I guess you're an Indians fan, huh? <laughs> but anyway, thanks, guys. I appreciate the stickers, and I'm sorry it took so long for me to, to do the mail call video. Like I said, I misplaced them and had to find them. If any of you guys uh, uh, want another sticker from me, you know, if I promised you a sticker in the past and I haven't gotten it to you, like I said, my computer crashed a while back and I lost a ton of information. Uh, PM me your address if I uh, am supposed to send you a sticker or if you'd like a sticker, uh, let me know and PM me your address and then that way I'll uh, get one out in the mail to you. Uh, anyway, back on the Dodge project. Uh, I'm going to uh, be removing this. This thing doesn't look too difficult to get off of here. Not sure how well you can see up under here. There's a few brackets and some screws nothing real major so I'm going to uh, shut the camera off and uh, go ahead and get this all replaced and I'll bring you guys back whenever I get everything put back together I'll see you in a few here's what it looks like with the uh, grill shell off there's like five or six studs that uh, go through these holes on top of the hood and then several uh, C-clips that are on the grill itself, and then the bolts go through this into that uh, shell. Of course, about all the ones on the old grill were broken off. Here's what it looks like from the back side. As you can see, all the mounting flanges are pretty well trashed. A lot of the studs that go along the top were broken as well. Plus, on this grill, the uh, insert for the center of it is a different color. It's kind of a gray plastic, and it just is, I guess, heat heat fused inside of it. The new one that I got him, everything on it is chrome. I think that'll look a little bit better. Of course, one thing I didn't realize when I ordered it is it doesn't have the Dodge emblem on it already, so I'll have to order him one to put on there, but that's an easy fix after everything's installed on the truck. I'm going to shut the camera off for a few minutes and take some time to clean all this magma up underneath where the other one was so there's nothing underneath it and treat these couple areas of rust it looks like it had a little bit of impact damage here I'm gonna see about uh, sanding that down just a little bit and priming it good putting a little bit of paint on there so it doesn't rust again and uh, get ready to put the grill back on and I'll bring you guys back then see you in a few okay I got it on there doesn't look too bad you can tell it's not really factory grill but a little tweak in here, a little torque in there. Uh, I got it fit pretty good. The uh, new vent shade that goes over this actually sticks down between the hood and the grill. Uh, I kind of like that better than the other one, which was taped along the top edge of this. Uh, still not sure about these. They look like they still might catch some debris down in behind them. But overall, it doesn't look too bad. And I've got pretty sufficient clearance on the brush guard and everything. I was kind of concerned about that. But all in all, not bad.
Now if I could uh, just figure out, I think it might be the shock, uh, that squeak on the passenger side after you guys kind of led me in that direction. I checked all the bushings, it wasn't those. It acts like it's the uh, shock absorber, which is going to be a little easier to fix than uh, some of the control arm bushings or some of that stuff. So, But uh, that's got him back together. Got the leak fixed on the uh, windshield washer tank. Got all that squared away. A uh, little bit of cleanup, maybe take it by the car wash tomorrow and uh, take it back to him. Appreciate you guys watching, commenting, and everything else. Uh, Y'all have a great one. See you on the next video. Take care. Bye.